A standoff that shut down a highway in Cherokee County leaves one suspect injured, another one behind bars. The sheriff's office says it started when a bald ground police officer tried to pull over a car yesterday afternoon that they think was wanted out of Alabama. The driver did not stop and drove off into the woods near Leo Taylor Lane. That's when the sheriff's office says Jeffrey Danner and William Kirkland took off running. State troopers, the GBI and others joined the search to find them. The sheriff's office says a SWAT team member shot and injured Kirkland after a nearly three hour standoff during which the two men had allegedly fired several rounds. The GBI is now investigating. Going in front of a judge. An Atlanta area man who was arrested following the U.S. Capitol riots has a federal court hearing set for 10 a.m. this morning. Cleveland Meredith Jr. faces weapons charges and is accused of threatening to shoot House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. He remains behind bars without bond. And jumping into the race, another Democrat is announcing his bid to challenge Republican Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene in the 2022 election. In a newly released campaign video, Marcus Flowers says he's an Army veteran who also spent a decade in combat zones as a contractor for the Department of Defense. I've witnessed firsthand the damage done by extremism, radicalism, and disinformation. And I won't stand by while people in Washington take us down the same path. One other Democrat, Holly McCormick, has also announced plans to challenge Congressman Green for Georgia's deep red 14th district.